55 Sports Final, powered by your Southern California Ford dealers. All right, the Dodgers in New York. And, and they're playing some unbelievable baseball. Mm. Hitting the Big Apple tonight in a series against the Mets. Baseball's best team showing off its prize pickup from the trade deadline. You Darvish making his Dodger debut. Offense gives him plenty of support. First batter of the game, Chris Taylor, solo homer. Dodgers up one zip. You get support like that, you're going you're gonna to do really well. Yes, seal. Puig, solo homer right there. 2 nothing. Dodgers, more power in the six. Chase Utley is going to come up with a big bomb right here. Two-run shot. That makes it five zip. Darvish, great first impression. Seven shutout innings. Three hits. Show you a couple strikeouts here. Ten Ks. He strikes out the side in his final inning. Dodgers. Blank New York. Final score, six zip. The Red Hot Angels hosting the A's at the Big A. Rookie Troy Scribner right here making his major league start. In the second, Matt Chapman takes him deep for a three-run homer. Oakland jumps to an early 3-0 lead. In the seventh, though, Angels down two. Bases are all loaded up, one out. Valbuena right here. Luis Valbuena, opposite field, two-run single to left. Ties the ball game. This is a good thing for A's fans. Then with runners at the corners. Escobar, soft little grounder. Chapman bobbles it on the transfer. Ben Rivera scores. Angels on top, 7-6. Halos win four straight now. Remember, they were swept in Cleveland last week. 8-6 was the final pull within two of the second wild card. Now, they call him Big Sexy, and he made some big news tonight. 44-year-old Bartolo Colon had a complete game win for the Minnesota Twins, becoming the oldest American League pitcher to throw a complete game since Nolan Ryan back in 1992. Nolan just a tad bit skinnier. However, look at Big Sexy right there, still going strong. KTLA is once again your Raider station. We'll be showing all four of their preseason games starting Saturday, August 12th. But first, we're visiting the team's training camp in Napa. And one of the big stories for the Silver and Black, the addition of Marshawn Lynch. The Super Bowl winning back in Oakland native came out of retirement to play for the Raiders this season. And Derek Carr, for one, is already excited after just a few practices with Beast Mode. He's a proven winner. He's uh, obviously uh, played a lot of football in this, in this league. So. There's not many blitzes he hasn't seen, you know. Um, there's not many uh, run plays he hasn't run. Um, he's played a lot of defenses, and so uh, he brings experience. He brings, um, you know, that willingness and that effort uh, that we love, the relentlessness. Uh, it's always good to pick his brain and ask him, hey, are we looking right, you know, kind of a thing, because he knows what it looks like. And an end of an era, the Chargers release Pro Bowl safety Daryl Stuckey with a failed physical. In seven years with the Chargers, Stuckey was a five-time captain, five team captain and a three-time special teams player of the year. He was the longest tenured Charger after Phillip Rivers and Antonio Gates. In Chargers first-round pick, Mike Williams has not had a great start to his NFL career. He hasn't even practiced yet at training camp due to a back injury. Then today, the Chargers, they actually tweeted out some happy birthday wishes, but there's a problem here. As Williams revealed in his tweet back to the team, it's in October saying my birthday's October 4th. Appreciate the love though. Hey, it's the thought that counts, right? The changes for the Clippers this year are not just on the court. Doc Rivers is losing one of his jobs. He's just the coach now, not the president of basketball operations. This move comes after at the behest of Clippers owner Steve Ballmer. But with nine new players on the roster this season, Doc probably wants to focus on actually coaching. Lawrence Frank will take over the front office, but Doc will still have lots to say in personnel decisions. PGA Tour Golf, second round of the World Golf Championship, Bridgestone Invitational. This is in Akron, Ohio. Shot of the day, Hudson Swafford. Watch this. Quiet, please. Oh, par 3, 17. Oh, knocks it in the hole right there. Six shots back at one under your leaders, Jimmy Walker. That birdie put on 15. He takes a two-shot lead into round three tomorrow in Ohio at 7 under. Still to come tonight, Tom Brady is going from the football field to a theater near you. Yes, we'll show you why the NFL greats, why his best story is yet to be seen. I mean, on the, on the screen, you're going to see Tommy Terrific. He hasn't even retired yet. Hollywood ending coming up next.